Hello guys, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Gotta Change. I'm just gonna let you guys know this video is not meant to be um, anything. I don't want you guys to go bother this man. Don't go after this man. This video is not to be meant to be hateful. This video is simply to show you guys and educate you guys and for me to commentate on it. To show you guys what are the dangers can be in this situation. Um, so please do not go out and say anything to this individual. Don't, don't mess with this individual. Please just watch the video and let the video stand for itself. The authorities have already been alerted. I am simply showing you what the reasoning is behind it. Okay? I'm just we're just here to protect at the end of the day. Thanks. What's going on, guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're gonna to be reading the chat logs, the text messages that were sent to this young woman here, a uh, young girl. Um, just go ahead and say that these are gonna be um, crazy. Um, this is going to be quite a long video. There are chat logs at the beginning of this video and there are chat logs at the very end of the video. And we're going to read them all together. So any, every time she puts up a text message, I'm also going to read it. Be prepared, please. If you're eating, I suggest you stop eating. Um, this man is um, not a very good individual. Um, he says a lot of things vulgar and it's just wild. Let's get into the video. My name is Kayla and I am unfortunately EDP's victim. I am 16, I'm turning 17, and EDP first started talking to me when I was 15. He messaged me first right, and so I told him my age and he didn't block me. I am 16, I'm turning 17, and EDP first started talking to me when I was 15. Alright, <clears throat> so is this the real EDP? or just a fan account it's the real eat if it's the real edp you should make more tiktoks you're so funny my friends and i are 15 we love watching them i don't do talk uh, tiktok anymore i have my own website sure. he messaged me first and i told him my age and he didn't block me um i didn't really know who he was i remember seeing him back in like 2021 but I, all I knew was that he was caught in a predator catch before. I didn't really know that he was friends with Tether, the creator, or any of these other people. There's actual messages of me telling my age to him several times. And there's voice messages of other victims that he groomed. I mean, regardless of the situation, Kayla, I don't give a fuck. Like, she's like, oh, I'm going to ruin your life. Whoa. If you think that you can ruin that bitch any more than what it's already been ruined, you go right the fuck ahead. Be my fucking guest, bitch. As a matter of fact, motherfucker, I'll get front row tickets to see this fucking shit, dude. You know what I mean? It's like, I really, I really don't give a shit anymore. You know what I mean? You guys are probably going to be like, oh, Kayla. All right, let's read this. Some random, uh, I'm going to say the, uh, I'll say the curse words, guys. Just get these verbatim. This isn't me saying it. Some random ass bitch claiming she's going to ruin my life. Talking, she's 17, and she's going to leak convos we had. Well, bitch, do, do you. I don't give a fuck anymore. If she's in Vegas, she's over 16, and she's over the age of consent. Also, there's some creepy-ass guy outside my house in my neighborhood screaming, hey, I think she's in California or some bullshit. The fuck? Stacy is wild. What's her Instagram? I want to see what she looks like. I bet she's blonde. Why are you agreeing with him? Well, the thing is, I had to, you know, so that he wouldn't get mad at me. He threatened me from the beginning. Like, I was scared for my life at this point. I still am a little bit. He sent me nudes several times. He sent me videos of him nutting. He even suggested of oh being on gosh. call. You guys heard that. She, he sent videos of himself doing things to her, man. <clears throat> I, I know you're sleeping, but I got to admit, since the day you messaged me, I've been dreaming about sliding. <clears throat> I've been dreaming about sliding my thing. Keep inside that fresh kitty. Um, just ducking away your innocence, showing you how a, how a real man does it. Remember, she already mentioned that she was 15. She already mentioned she's 15 at the time of this text message. You see how he talks to people and little girls. I, let me continue. Man. But you see, you heard what she said. A little bit. He sent me nudes several times. He sent me videos of him nutting. He even suggested 
of being on call with me and me seeing him not. He had a fantasy of taking my virginity. This is EDP again. Ever since you told me you were interested in me, I've kind of had this fantasy of pinning you on the bed and taking your virginity. This is a sick, sick man, man. Because yes, I am a virgin, okay? He had a fetish of being with a quote, young emo girl like me, which by the way- I'm monotone over text. You're so, you know, oh my gosh. You're so fucking hot. You know what? I'm literally leak, leaking. You see it. Uh, just thinking about you. Ha ha, how you do so? Tell me more. The way you're at that that ass looks in those leggings, you can have a you have a very fit body that I can keep I can't or I can that I can keep out of my head. Like I need you on top of me now. And that sexy ass and that sexy ass Spanish Latina accent is enough to make anyone climax. I've always wanted to be with a little emo girl. But I'm not even emo. Like, I don't consider myself emo. This is just what this guy considered me. Not sure how he found me. I was on Judeon's Discord. He was on Discord that day, and some people think that he saw me there in the voice call, but I don't know if he did or not. I'm a very public person. I'm a model. I have modeled for several brands before. I also make music. I do know that he subscribed to my YouTube. He would always make really weird sexual notes. He would, you know, I know for a fact he has pictures of not me, but other victims saved on his phone. And these are like explicit pictures of minors that are on his phone. So yes, he does have CP. I remember waking up some days. Did y'all hear that? He has videos of little girls on his phone. Of minors that are on his phone. So yes, he, you know, I know for a fact he has pictures of not me, but other victims saved on his phone. And these are like explicit pictures of minors that are on his phone. So he yes, he does have CP. I remember waking up some days and feeling the urge to like vomit at everything. I'm so, f I'm gonna vomit too, girl. I'm so looking forward to seeing you. Ah, uh -huh, what are you doing? Just watching corn, to be honest, laughing my f fucking ass off. I'm bored as hell. He was telling me, but I didn't. I kept one of my f one of my favorites though is young t is young teens eighteen and nineteen. I don't mind it. It would hurt if you cheated on me with another girl though. Lol, I'll be destroys laughing my laughing my fucking ass off. And if I'm being honest, the fact that you're still young but super mature for your age is a turn on for me. I hope that's not weird. Hey, buddy, it's weird. At this going because this you sitting on my face, me being handcuffed with my hands behind my back, and you're on top of me, picking you up, flipping you over to the point to where I'm eating your kitty and you're upside down, all type of wild shit. I feel like with those thighs. You can put me in a fucking chokehold. Like if you sent me a voice message saying, Daddy, your pickle is so big. I'd probably explode, LOL. We definitely could make some of those a reality. Kissy face. This has to be the last victim that he has. He can't just be going around and, you know, talking to other minors. Because if he scarred me mentally... Who else is he gonna do that to, you know? I do know that his friend gave him the job of a babysitter and a security guard. So yes, he's actively working with- Can't help it, LOL. Kinda wish you were here to help me. We'll see each other soon, no worries. I'll assist you one day. Likewise, can't, re can't wait to return the favor. I actually, <laughs> he just doesn't stop. I actually had a dream where I had you upside down. I was, I was, eating you out as you were sucking me off. I honestly can't wait to see your action when I eat your kitty. Kissy face. Kids threatened me saying that if I tried to like set him up in any sort of meetup, he would kill me and everybody else there. But I'm telling you right now, if you fuck me over, this shit goes wrong in any fucking way, shape, or form.
give your soul to the Lord. Okay, so you see this? In other words, I'm gonna hit. You know what it says. In in other words, I'm going to take your life, or I'm going to fire at you. Your ass if you fuck me over. Don't worry, I'm not gonna betray you. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see that, but it says, "Don't worry, I'm not gonna betray you." I can't show it because it's it, my time thing is like right over it. Your ass belongs to me. With a gun, he said he owns a gun room with 52 guns. He talked really badly about Jadeon and his publicists, saying that there was a lot of miscommunication and that since people, quote unquote, don't love pedophiles, that he wasn't going to do an interview. He would always guilt trip me. He would talk to me about his sister. He said that because people don't love pedos, he won't do an interview. So he's calling himself that. Let's just make sure we understand that. I'll give you one example. The... There was this one girl I knew for the better part of seven to maybe eight years when we first started messaging back in 2012. When the YouTube shit went down, the entire incident happened. She pretended to be my friend and to be where uh, to be there when I needed a friend the most. And what she ended up doing was she recorded the entire phone call, saved screenshots and everything, turned around, sent it to all the people who fucked me over. She sent it to the people that set me up, and now it's hard to trust anyone. I wish this wouldn't a type of... Hold on, let me see if I can make it to where you guys can see it. it it's right behind my timestamp, so it's so hard to see, but I'll try. Uh-uh, I wish you wouldn't do this. I wish this type of shit... This type of confusion and un untrustworthiness onto my worst enemy because it is, and then it's cut off right there. Um, and he would always, you know, bring. Uh, there it is. You just don't know. You just don't know who to trust, and that's not the life I want to live. Bring up stuff from his childhood, basically treat me like a free therapist. He would bring up, you know, his mom. And he would bring up the idea of me going out to Vegas at the age that I am right now and flying. So this is the way it's going to go down. And this is the only way this can work. As far as me just meeting up, you could come to Vegas and we can hang out for the weekend. It'll be legal then because in the state of Nevada, the age of consent is 16. Not sure if you uh, if you have to be a resident with the state, but this is the only shot. Where would you want to meet? Like in the airport or outside? Cause I don't, I don't know my way around it. Well, shit, I could pick you up at the airport and I can bring you back to my apartment. I'll have everything hooked up and ready to, I can't see the rest myself. Hold on. It looks like it says and ready to go. Not to him. Oh, to it is fuck him. To fuck him. And he wanted to marry me and start a family with me as soon as I turned 18. Yeah. You know who that sounds like, man? If y'all remember that guy off of Chris Hansen, The Predator, um, I can't remember his name right now, but he was real famous for saying this exact same stuff. Basically, he was trying to groom me to start a family with him. And I'm not a licensed therapist to put labels on anybody, but he also had a very weird fetish with himself. He told me that he wanted to, you know, fuck a fan or like date a fan of his. And he also had weird narcissistic behavior. I'm not calling him a narcissist. He's a narcissist. But everybody does have narcissistic qualities. His were out of hand though. He would sexualize my tits and how big they were. And then he would sexualize just my body in general. He even mentioned the idea. Oh my gosh, man. So tired. Sorry, guys. She and how big so they were. And then he would sexualize just my body. Yeah, I don't know. I was uh, earlier, not right now. Want to see this cute ass girl? I drink her damn bath water. Body in general, he even mentioned the idea for me to start an OnlyFans when I was 18 so that I could give him some of the profit. He wanted her to start an OnlyFans when she was 18 so he could get some of the profit. We already know what that's called. And it's all in messages. He sent a lot of messages, but hopefully someday I can get them back. He would fetishize me for being Latina, so I just hope that you guys support me through this. This man, like, he just needs to be stopped. He's like 32, I think, I'm not sure, he's in his 30s. He shaded me online publicly the other day, which is this. When you find the perfect 22 Ferrari, 
but it's got over 200,000 miles on it. Big, sexy EDP. There's no piece of ass in America worth putting up with the headaches you're about to encounter. Dude, who's the reason I'm saying that? he was shading me, it's the same thing that he told me before he blocked me. He asked me blocked. He went homeless for like three weeks and he was living in his car and then he found like a mattress in like the street and like he finally got like an apartment or something and took it back to his apartment. I mentioned to him how like Kai, Jadeon, and Loaf are my favorite YouTubers and he would just like criticize my own personal interests as well. And he kept making me like all these promises. He was like, oh, I know Tyler, the creator. I can like this as well. Let's my favorite YouTubers he didn't like and shaded Aiden Ross, Kai Sinat, J Jideon, and Tom. And he kept uh, making me like all these Tana. promises. He was like, oh, I know Tyler, the creator. I can like more proof will be shown at the end of this video. And he can give you advice on music. And he even asked for nudes, which the nudes that I sent him weren't mine. Um, they were from Google because, you know, some big brains, you know? I look like Megamind, but I can also act like Megamind. You know what I mean? If you're wondering what his dick pics look like, I'm obviously not going to put them in. His dick is the size of a pickle. It's less, though. It's, like, this big. Like, I'm not joking. I wish I could say I was joking. Like, Jadeon saw him, saw him for himself. He could tell you guys. But it was, like, this big. Like, the size of my tongue, like... Like that. That's how big it was. He also said that he has friends that meet up with like 17 year olds and they go to the meetups and they bring guns and they threaten them in case they want to say anything. But honestly, I want you to rehear that part. I re he also that part said again. that he has friends that meet up with like 17 year olds and guys. But it was like this big. Like the size of my tongue, like, like that. That's how big it was. He also said that he has friends that meet up with like 17 year olds and they go to the meetups and they bring guns and they threaten them in case they want to say anything. But honestly, EDP doesn't know where I live. I sent EDP my ex's address. So if you're my ex and you're watching this, you'll be fine, don't worry. But yeah. You're fat as fuck. You're fatter than a black fucking Tesla. You're fatter than a seal. Here you can see that he is FaceTiming her. This is her down at the bottom. Like, bitch, you go to SeaWorld. You are SeaWorld. You're just oh, as fat. Oh, Y'all couldn't see her, but yeah, that was her. There's a fucking orcas there. Like, shut up. Like, bro, he's just so disgusting. He criticizes women's bodies, and then he questions why he's not married. He, And it's not the fact that he criticizes them. You know, we all need to be humbled. We all need to be given advice sometimes but bro gives it when he's fat as fuck like what and then he would mention how like i was a good rapper and he would have me rap for him or like sing for him in calls then he would sexualize my voice he would be like oh you should moan in my ear like oh i have a fantasy of like pinning you down on the bed and i was like bro like at that point i was just like in shock it's pretty it's a traumatizing thing to have went through um, it definitely scared me of men a little bit. It did something to my brain. I can't recall what it was, but it's just overall scary. I know that he subscribed to my YouTube channel. I know that ADP is subscribed to my YouTube channel and he's going to see this video and he might unblock me and talk to me, but EDP. I just have a message for you. Apologize to the victims and actually get therapy because when you made that fucking apology, when you made that- I want y'all to listen to this part. This part's pretty important. Um, y'all remember when he made that apology video not too long ago that we had talked about um, how he said he was going to therapy, which I mentioned in the video before that he should go to therapy, but that was seen as harassing him. I don't understand, but um, she's going to mention what happened during that time fucking apology about oh i'll change i'll grow i'll be better i'll go to therapy i'm getting the help i need you sent me that apology when you were talking to me you lied to all of your fans you did that's literally what you did and you haven't went to therapy you haven't seeked any sort of fucking help for your sick ass you haven't and he talked to his mother before she when died, he made the apology he he sent that and made it a joke and sent it to these other young minors just to say it was a joke it wasn't real 
didn't get therapy, didn't get help, didn't do anything, clearly. But he made that video while he was talking to her like he was. Remember that? When he made that apology video, those text messages we read earlier, he was talking to her already like this. Oath to her that if he ever were to talk to like a minor, he would kill himself and that he was on the verge of. And I'm like, bro, this is what your mother means to you because I'm 16, I'm turning 17. You're trying to groom me to marry you and your mother's fucking deceased. Going forward from this, I'm just going to try to distract myself. I hope that this isn't like a thing where in a couple of years I'm like more traumatized than I am now. I'm trying to just like, you know, do what I was always doing. I always have been making videos. I've always been vlogging. I've always been making music. I've always, you know, been doing all these things. I guess I just have to be a little bit more secure because I'm not sure if he's going to try to fucking me now. I'm really not sure. He said that like one of his hobbies was going to like the gun range to practice, which is like scary. Like that's already a red flag. Like, listen. Don't forget that he did threaten her earlier that... in this video. We're about to get to the text messages. We're close. But uh, the, the last ones, at least. Don't forget that he mentioned earlier that he would her soul would be his if she outed him. What a social. He's done, dude. Guys, I'm telling you, this man is done. Past us before they go of people like am i crazy here or do you guys see the connection because like every other before has had an obsession with guns i wouldn't be surprised if he gets really mad at this video and goes and does that you know what i mean i'm sorry to all of his fans that thought he changed because he hasn't not he hasn't changed and that. he lied to you about that and i am unfortunately his victim and now i have to go to therapy um for all of the fucking threats he made to me and the way that he has now traumatized my brain you know it's just like a, it's just something kawaii you know it's building my character you know it's kind of a weird thing though to think that that man watches all of my content like he saw the video of me making ice spice cake and please hold this man accountable for his actions even if you're his fan you know you can like someone's content but not like them as a person, and that's okay. And he blocked me the day that Jadeon catched him with Skeeter. That's literally all I'm gonna say, but yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Buckle up. Buckle up. Here we go. The last of the text messages. I'm not looking forward to reading these. Let me just take a quick sip of water, man. 22 minutes into this video, man. All right, guys. I'm going to just cut off the music because she plays some funny music in the background. I'm just going to read it out loud. All right. Prepare yourself. All right. Here we go. And... All right. LOL. It was a it was this redheaded chick named Debbie Davis. Bitch was sloppy ass drunk in her house with a total fucking wreck. Debbie is crazy. I remember once I shoved my entire heart arm in her ass and she, uh, she was fucking loving that shit. Any bitch back then and take an entire arm in her ass is fucking deranged and fucked up in the head. I remember once I shoved. Uh, yeah, she said the same thing again. Sorry, my reception was totally fucking ass. And, in t and then she puts at the bottom, which you guys can't see because my little time thing is in the way. But it says, an entire arm. All right, let's move forward. Uh. Yep. But it's just the fact that I really wanted to bake you something to swim with you in here at the show and show you around at the uh, at night a little bit. Well, shit, we're going we're we're going to have to f figure it the fuck out because me going down there, age of consent is 18. You turning 16 on 32. Fuck that. Be honest with you and not to sound fucked up like you should be grateful. I'm still fucking talk to you because Anybody else who had gone went through the traumatizing shit that I've gone through the last through a, uh, gone through a few years ago, they would have went nowhere near you. 
And I'm not trying to sound mean. It's just a fucking truth. Dude. Should just make it bigger for you guys to see. Whenever, whichever you prefer. Why not both? It can be both. I bet you taste so good. Damn good. Do you think I taste like Skittles? <sighs> LOL. Maybe either that. Either that your sh or strawberries, what he meant to say. I use strawberry body washes, LOL. I literally, <clears throat> I literally touch myself to the thought of you laying on my bed by be <laughs> laying on my bed, opening your legs and be sliding my pickle. I say in pickle now because of what she said. I'll be sliding my pickle inside of you, pushing it all the way up inside of your tight kitty, which you guys can't see. It's right there. Tomorrow, if there's anything you you need, let me know. Okay, talk to you later. Love you. Love ya. Kissy face. Thank you making my dream come true. Oh my gosh, we got a lot to read, man. What are you doing tomorrow? It's my birthday. I better get at least a text saying happy birthday. Of course you will. Damn, I'm not that mean. What type of boyfriend would I be to even text you happy birthday? Boyfriend? Oh, man. You're, you're my little girl. Oh, man. It's all coming back to me. You're my little girl. I'm going to a roller coaster park. Are you working? I was hoping I could get a call with you. No, I'm... I'm not working. Even if I was, I still make time for you. I meant tomorrow. Are you like working tomorrow? LOL. Cause I, I agree. LOL. Damn. Let a bitch scratch their arm. Laugh my fucking ass off. I hate these MFs that make out in front of everyone. Right. It's like, God, I'm not gonna say that one. <laughs> it's like fucking damn, man. Can you put your shit any more out there? Shaking my damn head. Yeah. LOL. Nah, I'm not doing all that shit. At most, I'll be like, okay, Kayla, have a wonderful day at work and end it with the kiss on the cheek. Not this extra shit, bitches be out here swapping spit and shit. Mm, mm, beautiful, beautiful. But to answer your question, yes, I do fantasize about you all the time. Like what? You, oh man. you sitting on my face, me being handcuffed with... My hands behind my back and you're on top of me, picking you up, flipping you over to the point where I'm eating, uh, eating your kitty and you're upside down all types of wild shit. I feel like those thighs can put me in a fucking chokehold. Like I sent, like if you sent me a voice message saying, daddy, your pickle is so big, I'd probably explode. Mm -mm -mm. Latina Mexican girlfriend, like, it's on my bucket list. It's something about that that are fucking crazy in a good way. Well, you're in luck because I'm already all yours. Want to call later? Yes. I'm just scared, that's all. I know you tell me don't be, but the entire incident was so traumatizing, I was on the verge of taking my life multiple times. I want to feed you food. Do it. Feed me whatever you desire. Want to know a secret? Sure. I'm over the fucking top in love with you, like soulmate in love, but scared at the same time. 32, 15. Remember that, people. Doesn't seem like there's anything I can do. Don't leave me alone for my birthday. I cancel plans with everybody just for you. There's nothing I can do. Like, I'm trying to do everything that I can here. I mean, I don't want to lose my fucking job and be fucked when I come back, you know what I mean? What can, what I can do, if you're up for it, I can fly you out to Vegas and we can spend your birthday together. If you want to, if you're something, if you're, if you want to, if that's something that you're up to, let me think about it. Oh, wait, praising you. LOL, I see. Like, worshiping you. Shit, I'm the last person need praising. Just your average, ordinary person trying to make a living, trying to keep my head above water. You're not average. You're a savage. You think so? 
Yes, King. By the way, I made a video sucking my own titty with no hands. Hmm. Laughing my fucking ass off. I'm going to see it right now. This man. Real bit, but also because I'm a fan, I think Poway is actually closer than Shula visits Vista. Oh, is it like on your way? Hopefully, my pickle isn't too small. I'm laughing, my fucking asshole. I actually had a dream where I had you upside down. I was I was eating you out as you were sucking me off. I honestly can't wait to see your reaction to when I eat your kitty. That's an acrobatic move. Oh, God. Why would you say that? Yep. Good morning. What are you doing? I just woke up. How about you? Just, just hanging out before I go to the gym. Got to fucking sweat like a slave in that damn heat. I'm afraid to say this, but you have to promise... Me, I won't scare you away. It won't. What's goody? I'm falling for you hard, like super hard, to the point where you're constantly on my mind, sad face. They don't do that anymore. I'll watch the FNAF movie, Five Nights at Freddy movie. Really? Yeah. I bet you're the type to person to fuck some... Look, why does it... I'm trying to just read it. I bet you're the type of person to fuck someone in the... <laughs> I bet you're the type of person to find someone in the ass. Don't even have the common, damn common courtesy to give them a reach around. Good morning, baby. Video call. Video ended. One of my fantasies is eating your kitty while you're asleep. Oh my gosh, man. One of your fantasies is eating your kitty while you're asleep. Totally surprising you. Jeez. Fucking bitch says stuff that makes me uncomfortable. What did she say that makes you uncomfortable? This one time we went out to lunch and it was our first time meeting up. And she made a little smart ass comment talking about you. Oh, wow. I see how it is. You can't even pay for my dinner. It's like... Bitch, you're a grown ass fucking woman. How you can't pay for your own shit? Then there was this time where she bought a pizza over to the house and I literally had gotten out of surgery like 20 minutes ago. And she's all like, well, I bought the pizza and I purchased everything. At least you can do is serve it to me. Hmm. Without makeup. Aw, making me blush. Sorry, I know it's late, but you want to go to bed? If you want to if you want to go to bed, I don't want to keep you up. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm really tired. Get yourself some rest. I'll talk to you later. By the way, do me a favor if you aren't up to anything. Send me your address. That way if you do pull some snake ass sneaky shit, I can come after your ass. I I'll send you mine out of good faith. Deal? We'll be good, cutie. To be honest, I've always been attracted to you. You're mysterious and different. That is sexy as hell. I just, I'm, I think I'm just honest, really. Daddy's little emo girl. Making me beg, huh? LOL. Let's text because my phone won't charge at all. It's literally barely at 10%. No worries. Guess what? So occasionally I jerk off at work. And right now, I'm so hard. I remember you said you were good at giving head. Please, baby, please let me stuff my pickle inside your mouth. I'll do anything. My goodness, ignore that. I feel so damn embarrassed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so tired. Got to prioritize myself to you, you know. Sure. I'm not trying to guilt trip you, but that's the difference between you and me. When you're going through some shit, I am the type of guy to uh, to where we're, we are 
regardless of how retired I am, regardless of what personal shit I'm go- I got going on in my life, I'm always going to find the time to listen to hear you out because just sitting there and listening can make all the difference in the world. But fuck, you do you. Good night, sweet dreams. And I'm not and I am making time as well, just not right now. And you guys can't see the bottom, but it says I can't see it either. Tomorrow you can rant to me all you want. Okay, found it. He daddy's little kitten. I'm doing well. I'm doing good. How are you? I think you sent this to the wrong person. Sorry. I, sorry. Was I not excited enough? No, you're fine. Just threw me off. And this bottom part, which y'all guys will have to read underneath. I'm sorry. But my time stepped in the way. Yeah, but I'll read it up. To be honest, I visualize you. I'm visualizing you sucking and playing with your tits. It has me so hard, as you can see right there. Why? I like. Why does the conversation go? Oh, the perfect. Let me just go back for you guys so you can see exactly what it said. See that sick part. There you can see it. All right. All right. She's going through these really fast, guys. All right. There it is right there. You can see it. Kind of. All right. LOL. Laugh my fucking ass off. You're the queen. I'm inferior to you. LOL. Are you excited to see me? Yes, I can't stop hugging my pillow pretending it's you. LOL. <sighs> stop. I look so bad in that. It's sexy, LOL. My voice? Yes, LOL. The way you react to things is so funny and cute. Oh, thank you. That's so nice to hear. Good morning, by the way. How are you? It's so innocent and sexy. It turns me on, to be honest. Guys, I'm telling you, people like this, man who just can't keep from going into these kind of conversations. It's just a problem. It is an absolute disgusting problem. What is this? Did you see uh, the title? Well, this is EDP talking to this little girl that you guys, the video that got exposed yesterday. This is her showing the text messages. Uh, I don't understand just how fucking beautiful and sexy you are. Like, I know the fact that I'm going to be stuttering like hell when we first meet, LOL. Ah, oh, that's nice. I'm about to go to sleep. Got your message before I did. LOL. Good night. Good night. Before you go, daddy loves you. Uh, this man is just fantasizes about being called daddy all the time. Dinner, make it equal. If if she wasn't a, such a fucking bitch, I would have. So damn adorable. What are you doing? Chilling, just woke up. How about you? Just here getting treatment. Oh, how is it? Uh, it's okay. I scream when they put the needle in. Also, feel free to text me. I wouldn't, I would ask for your number, but don't want to seem weird. And he gives her numbers. She blotches it out, which is fair. This is, whoa, this is way past simp behavior. Sorry, people who are watching this on YouTube, somebody said something in the chat. This is, this is way past simp. Because remember, this is a 32 year old and a 15 year old. I bet you taste good, huh? Harassment. Good night. Before, before you go, before you go, daddy, before you go, daddy loves you. Sorry about last night. It's just that I really like you and I could come off weird sometimes. That's why I'm more comfortable and my words just flow out better when I'm not giving a shit about what I'm saying. Hold on a second, guys. Sorry, that was my wife. Oh. All right. I'm at work shitting and tell you 
uh, why would he say this? I'm at work shitting and tell me why I just pushed out a colossal size tree trunk out my, of my ass. Uh, what? How's my little princess this morning? Let's just keep it moving. I'll get my thoughts later. Dang, man. No, I want to sit down and give you the biggest kiss ever. Oh, that's so cute. I want to have you for I want to have you for dessert. LOL. What is your favorite dessert? My favorite ice cream is called Kayla. Like to tease me, huh? You like? Already so little heads up. I'm trying to get this owner to give me the 11th off along with a few more days. Doesn't seem like he's budging. So if I can't do the 11th, I'm definitely coming down on uh, 20th of September, which would have been this year. Because that's my mom's birthday. And I want to visit her at the cemetery in L.A. And I also want to visit my sister and I'll only be two hours away. I know it sucks, but it doesn't seem like there's anything I can do. Well, damn, if you're being if you're being forced to, to be honest, I'm not I'm not trying to come off fucked off. I feel like you want a relationship, but you're not willing to make necessary adjustments into making it work. If if it makes that if that makes any sense, because, damn, there will be times where I'm literally going through some shit mentally and all I want to do is talk. To you, oh, I can't let it do. I can't let do it tomorrow night. Not sure what he was trying to say there. This is Kayla. This is coming from the uh, the Instagram. This bitch I used to date for three months dumped me and decided to marry a dude with a kid. Motherfucker looks like a base bound is bound for jail. Like an e girl is someone who's like Bella Daphne. I don't know who the fuck Bella Daphne is, but hey, if that's something you truly want to do, shit, why not? <laughs> LML. I just need humor in my life, so I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. Why not? LOL. Might as well have some fun. I approve as long as you promise to ride my face afterwards. Just can't help himself. Bet. Big sexy EDP range time is the best time. Teach me, of course. Would you consider yourself an affectionate person? Like, would it creep you out if I came up and hugged you from behind or kissed your neck? I'm very affectionate. I think my love language is physical touch and gift giving also. Good morning. What are you doing? I just woke up. How about you? Just hanging out before I go back to work. Gonna fucking sweat like a slave in that damn heat. I'm afraid to say this, but you have to prom I, but you pr have to promise me I won't scare you away. It won't. What's goody? I'm falling for you hard, like super hard to the point where you're constantly on my mind. Not going to lie to you, you sexy as hell. Those red lips turn me on. I low-key want to handcuff you to the bed frame, eat your kitty. That way you're... F oh, my goodness. That way you're forced to take it. <sighs> okay, I'll stop. LOL. That's what he says if you can't see it. Yes, I think you're fucking amazing and cute. That beauty is pouring out. It's not leaving me at all. To be honest, you look a little sad, but at the same time, you're very cute and beautiful. Like, I just want to grab your face and hug and kiss it all day. I... Oh, man, I messed up. Sorry, guys. I went to SeaWorld because I was sad vlog. She makes a YouTube video. Poor thing. I wish I could give you a hug. I feel so bad. Which which y'all just saw. Is the lesbian couple next to me? You know how I feel about... I'm a raging homophobic. EDP. I just. But you aren't that emo vampire gothic shit. You should love blood. LOL. Just kidding. 
Shoddy loves opium. I don't know if you know what opium is. Yeah, I know what opium is. LAML. Where's Kayla? She's in the back higher than a kite. <laughs> and there is his face. It's dark for me. It's dark. It's dark for you. <laughs> I'm good, babe. Thanks for asking. You're so sweet and thoughtful. That's what I love about you the most. Of course, I'm going to head to the bakery later. So sorry in advance if I take longer to reply. It's okay, no worries. It just sucks that I'm in love with you because can't stop thinking about you. You put a spell on me, huh? Nah, no spell is good. But no, nah, no spell, but that's good to hear. And we're done. We're finally done. I'm just going to end the video here. You saw all the comments. I I'll make my reaction to everything we saw in another video, but there it is. I'm gone.